After getting largely dominated for 60 minutes in a 4-1 loss to the Fort St. John Flyers in Game 1, the Dawson Creek Senior Canucks were looking for a much improved effort trying to avoid going down 2-0 in the best of 5 series. And just 3 minutes in, Jeff Taylor no-look dish to Mike Lalonde basically in the blue paint, no chance for Troy Hunt as the senior sees open the scoring for the second straight contest. Jump to the middle frame where Dawson again strikes early. Just a minute in similar play, Chris Stevens able to find Coulter McLean, beats Hunt short side as the senior sees go up to zip. Robbie Sadu sits for a slash. Hunt stops the point shot, but Taylor's there. Bottle popping snipe to extend their lead to three. Just two minutes later, Tyler Loney's turn. Also on the power play, seeing a shot beats JB Agar, pulls the Flyers within two. Connor Rose comes close to extending the lead again, but Hunt with a remarkable sprawl gets in the way. That say will get overshadowed though, hang tight. In the third, less than two minutes in, Lewis Weaver can't control the pucks to do it all alone, makes no mistake. Flyers within one early. Nine to play now, Brian Lewis, beautiful feed to Josh Bruja. In all alone, he puts it in. Comeback nearly complete, three to three. FSJ playing their best hockey of the night. Point shot stop, Joey Massingham finds Brian Carter, open net. By God, that man had a family. JB Agar, desperation stop, just throws the paddle out absolutely insane to keep this game tied. Which was huge, as a minute later, Reed Smith in the slot beats the Tendy to put Dawson back in front. But with five to play, Agar can't control the rebound. Massingham on the doorstop bangs it in as we got a tie game once again. So it's overtime until a goal is scored. Flyers golden chance, but Agar flashes the leather. Then they come this close. On the line, Goldie able to get the glove over in time. Fort St. John throwing the kitchen sink at Agar, but getting nothing. Which of course means the other way, Tyson Stefanik fires a shot. Goes off a flyer, clanks off the bar, bounces on the line. The lawn quick to it ends the game on his second effort. As the senior Canucks win it 5-4 in overtime, tying the series at a game apiece. Just a crazy game overall, some of the best hockey in the piece this season. After the contest, overtime hero Lalonde said in OT, you just got to crash the net and hope for the best. Just getting to the net and, you know, luckily the bounce came from the opposite post, coming back towards me and I got a couple, a couple whacks at it and just went in. It's, it's just how overtime goals are scored. Game 3 is tonight in Fort St. John, while Game 4 is now necessary. That'll be Tuesday back in the Mile Zero City. Puck drop for both is 8.30. Derek Lightfoot, CJDC TV Sports, Dawson Creek.